the Whiskey Brothers. Welcome to the Whiskey Brothers podcast, everybody. 1026, we're right into it. Slade Ham, Jerry Wayne Longmire, Trey Tuts, and Sam Damaris. Full strength in the Whiskey Brothers studio. We are back after a month of touring Europe. Pre-recorded episodes, a couple on the air with Paul Odo and Chase DeRusso. Uh, Adam Taylor running the ones, twos, threes, fours, sixes through eights. He knows what he's doing back there. It's everything. Uh, our digital lifeblood, if you will. To you guys watching us, we appreciate you. We're going to crack right into some whiskey. This is this is Irish uh, whiskey, Writer's Tears, uh, sent to us by Back of House Help and also Houston comic Killa Felice. Um, Killa. And then... I read that first as Writer's Tears. And I was like, how's that happen? You get up from your desk too fast? Like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait a minute. You were serious when you said that? I was laughing at you. <laughs> Because you were like, you're drinking writer's tears. I was like, ha cute. But no, you weren't serious. Yeah, no. When I think of writer's tears, I'm like, fuck. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, it actually fits in. Tears, tears fits also. And, and, and ripping it apart. I'm, I'm saving it because uh, I want to, I'm saving this over here. This was the bottle of uh, Cotton Hollow Straight Rye that Stephen Foster sent us, and I'm using it for old fashions when you guys aren't around. So yeah. What all goes in old fashioned again? It's, so I do. Uh, you, not I do. Uh, like, I'm the bartender. Um, it's basically whiskey. Uh, bitters, a little bit of uh, sugar or simple syrup. Uh, I, I'm lazy. I just put like that brown uh, sugar yeah, yeah. I put in my coffee. But a good simple syrup is what you want. And then like a muddled orange or uh, some. Nah, it's a fruit. I don't so know. Hang on. You don't have to get, put the fruit in it. No, don't, don't <laughs> feel bad, Jerry. This is the only time he buys fruit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get him to eat one to save your ass. I just very went no. next door but and knocked on the door. Hey, uh, S.A. Fruit, senor. Tienes las frutas? Was it naranja? <laughs> I, dude, I fuck a banana, bro. I will not eat a banana or an apple. I know. Oh, look no, at I you. Love but is it naranja yeah. orange? No, I think that's spider. Oh, anaran, uh, an anaranja. Yes. Anaranja. Yeah. Uh, Aranya is is spider. I yes. get them mixed up. Don't put uh, y'all don't put them both in my don't mouth. Don't put spiders in yeah. my mouth. Boy, that'd be a different drink. That's <laughs> it's, it's, it's there's a muddled spider in there. Tequila. <laughs> I drank a scorpion. I've seen I that, that shit. shit You're crazier and bad. She's got shit, like 13,000 fucking views for me drinking a scorpion. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. There's an easier way to get views, Holmes. <laughs> Just write a sketch. Just stop, stop eating bugs. <laughs> it was a crossing off the list. That, okay. Hang on. Jobs I don't want. Back to the other episode. Hang on. Slate, Slate can tell you. Here's how it happened. And as soon as I tell you how it happened, okay. Slate will tell you, oh, they fucked up. Um, all right. I'm at this bar in Aruba. And they start banging on shit, making all this noise. And I was like, oh, this is somebody's birthday? They go, no, that's uh, that's the scorpion shot. And I was like, what's the scorpion shot? They go, we put a baby scorpion inside a shot of Patron, and you drink that, and you get a free T-shirt for it, and blah, blah, blah. Oh, you should get a free like, T-shirt for drinking a shot of Patron. I was like, yeah. I was like, I was like, okay, yeah, that's dumb. Well, and these fucking guys on the shit were just like, yeah, but you won't do it. And I was like, you buying? They're like, if you do it, I'll buy and 100 percent of the time you didn't get any extra time. money out yeah, of this no <laughs> like, no no he will say, do 100 if, bucks i'll do it <laughs> free liquor has made this man do more dumb shit <laughs> <laughs> and it was just one of those like because i get to fucking add it to the list of like okay dumb shit it. he's it done for free liquor yeah <laughs> <laughs> but i didn't have to pay for it like if I it's feel, terrible no, I, like, I feel I'm not out anything. here i'll give yeah. you a free shot if you eat a spider i go catch <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, go catch a spider. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah. Oh, I'm capable. <laughs> I feel like you got built in, like pre-built spider traps in your car. <laughs> My people know a thing or two about Look catching spiders. Right it's going to be eight spiders in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> just wait, just wait. If I got the right lure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so no, no, no. This is uh, this is good whiskey drink uh, mm. correctly, I think. Very cool. So, uh, uh, show. Yeah, I never tried the Old Fashioned. I like it in Manhattan, so. Wait, oh wait. So those have, it's whiskey and vermouth. They invented a Manhattan when they was trying to, uh, the guy was trying to make a martini out of bourbon to right. sell more bourbon. He was having trouble selling bourbon. Which That's is, how the dude came it, up That was going to say, it tastes like a martini made yeah. out of bourbon. But boy, they will fuck you up like polio. Yeah, like martini. I love them, man. <laughs> well, because here's the thing about them. Done but, right, because I don't like to taste that vermouth. You know, I just like to get a little. damn it. <laughs> He can't <laughs> talk. He can't it's talk. Manhattan and vermouth. It's, it's <laughs> Manhattan. That's what I said. It's no. a Manhattan and vermouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, 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 uh, the little, what's I love the first syllable. The, okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> you sound like a dude who was deaf for 10 years who just now got to be able to hear. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't, whatever you know, it is. You know, however y'all say it, but move through. Whatever. So I don't like to taste it. Yeah, you sound like a dumbass. Like, <laughs> dumbass. A dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody ever confused about what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> That's the fuck we are. You're speaking redneck riddle over here, and we, we got to decode it every time. It's like playing that license. This ain't license. the Da Vinci code. It's the Billy code. <laughs> it's like playing that license plate game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got to put the phonetics together. It's like a redneck wind talkers. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're speaking in code. It's, we all got there. We figured it. That's where all the Calvary's come from these Here's days. why you get messed up, though, off of uh, Manhattan's. They, they they are whiskey sized mar they're full they're just all alcohol. Mm -hmm. It's a martini glass full of whiskey. There is no oh, mixer. That's so funny. I know we don't speak any positive Dwayne Bradley anymore, but that some bitch made the best Manhattan in Houston. It's a, the, the, that bar Davenport does make a uh, very good. Uh, I used to. So that's there was a point where we had quit drinking shots. It was actually Krista. She made Cr the best Christ, Krista is a beast. Uh, but that bar in general makes some of the best martinis. And there was a while where we were trying to drink better, like not be as we were going out five, six nights a week and drinking. Like a Baron Jaeger. Like oh, God, so there were there were cycles of the shots. Right, it was to walk at one point and then it was triple espresso vodka and then it was blueberry vodka then it was uh whatever baron jaeger. baron jaeger and then there was a point where we were like all right no more shots we can't do this anymore and we we decided that they weren't shots if you put them in a martini glass wow. so we were just drinking three shots at a time <laughs> well you you feel better like when you have a drink it requires some effort to put it together like the old-fashioned or the manhattan you you carry that son of a bitch around you feel like well i earned this i waited on them to make it yes you know what i mean if like, you don't drink it in one fell swoop which no, you true. will do if you're not paying for them no when i get about the fourth one they start going down real quick but boy that, those first two manhattans brother boy that's just some of the happiest times of my life so I, have you have you started making them at the house yet no 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 i ain't that fancy well but it's not that difficult <laughs> Yeah, I just... Uh, what if we get you, like, a cool little bartending tin? <laughs> well, you have to buy a bottle of vermouth. But yeah. he'd drink, he'd, if you drink the way you drink, you go through a bottle of Evan Williams how frequently? Um, about once a week. Okay, so you'd go through a bottle of vermouth about every month? Yeah, no probably. Tears. See? Right. Oh, you need it? Sorry. Yeah. Rider stairs. You could 100% pull this off. Let's, we're going to teach you. We're going to do a, uh, let's do like an online. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to learn how to do it good. Manhattan uh, making class. I and can even teach you. though I don't like Maker's Mark, they used to make them out of Maker's Mark and they were pretty Maker's good. Maker's 46 makes my favorite Manhattan. Now, when I'm drinking whiskey by itself, I like a sour mash because I like that charcoal-y taste. Right. But Jack Daniels wouldn't make a good Manhattan. Not even you know, close. Well, Maker's Evan. Mark actually tastes good if you mix with anything. I don't, uh, I don't Maker's really Mark care tastes for it like by itself. Dog shit oh, okay. by itself. It is. I don't awful. think it's that bad. I, oh, mean, yeah, that's, I think that's it's not one of It's got one of the worst. What, what is that? Of say, it, would you say liquors that taste bad by themselves, but they go good in a, a cocktail? As a cocktail, Crown Royal, Crown Royal. That, okay, that's strong. It mixes yeah. well. It's here's the it, anything that Tequila. doesn't anything that doesn't have its own very <laughs> distinct taste. Like I think stuff that tastes like Jack Daniels has mm. a very distinct flavor. I can blind taste. Jack Daniels, but is. Jameson same way. You can I can tell Jameson. You could blindfold me, give me Jameson Bushmills and anything else you want, and I can tell you what the Jameson is. Okay, that's fair. I can put up against Killian's, all that. It's a well, Killian's is a beer. Uh, so. Killian's <laughs> makes an Irish whiskey too. Oh, I was about to say, <laughs> just making a joke. <laughs> it's a really cheap one, but <laughs> they, they, they make an but Irish the, whiskey. But the, the too. point, yeah, I get. But that's why you don't see Jameson in a lot of cocktails. Yeah, it's a you do with okay. Sprite or whatever else. But like when it comes to making it, you want something with as basic of a liquor taste as you can because you're mixing it with other liquors. So gotcha. you can yeah. It's the the play on the flavor, and then that's your base. You're trying to get people fucked up with the base, and you're trying to flavor it with the other stuff. Mm. Like so. fucking rum and cokes, everybody, Bacardi, 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 because it's just the fucking water it's of fucking just, rums, yeah. right? Gotcha. You don't go on vacation to the Bahamas, come back with a bottle of their rum, and go, I'm going to make that with coke. No, you don't. You just fucking... You wouldn't waste Florida Kanye rum on a, on no, a rum and coke. That Florida Kanye so good. So good. The man. seven years, one of the... We, mm -hmm. When me and BC were down in Central America... We were in Nicaragua, and we drank. We went out to this, but we were staying in this Airbnb that had this. It was separate from the house, but the dude was watching the house for the, this woman who owned it all. And they had this kid who I've now figured out had 100% Down syndrome, but I didn't know at the time. I just thought he was exuberant. And he would come running in the room, naked, throwing Legos at us the whole time. So we were like, we're going to go to a bar. 
And the dad was like, you know, well, we'll go to the bar with you. And I was like, we're going to bring the, the yeah, naked this, kid yeah, and yeah. everything. And we did. And me and that kid, his name was Reyes. We ended up becoming like best friends. Uh, but every time I'd go, we, me and BC were drinking Florida Kanye 7. And every time I'd go to toast, the kid would slap my hand and go, nah. And I would turn around and look at him, and he would hold up his water and cling me. I was like, you've been coming to this bar with your dad yeah. for a long <laughs> time. <laughs> Golly. Yeah, I got good I memories in, of that I was in somewhere outside uh, in OKC, some small whatever bar. I like places that, uh, that like, respect th- that sort of thing. Like, the, the, like basically, I'm not going to let you fuck up liquor with some sort of mix or mm-hmm. whatever. Like, drink this properly. It's all about a good bar. I had went in. And uh, I was like, hey, what can I get you? Oh, I don't, go, uh, don't tell me. You did not do it. I said, tequila Red Bull. And he goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, Jack and Coke? Now that's more like it. <laughs> then he poured it and made it. He was just In like, Oklahoma? No. He was like, no, I'm not fucking, I'm not doing that. Like almost like, I'm not, no, I I'm not doing that. that. bro. 3250, yeah. fuck yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was like, no, not <laughs> happening. I, I thought I thought you were going to tell me that you, you were the black yeah. dude who walked into the bar and ordered a Hennessy and Coke. Oh, no, no, no. I was uh, just like, oh, come on, bro, don't I, do it. Don't I do cannot it. drink. I have to avoid Hennessy. It brings out parts of me that I didn't know existed. Like black yeah. parts of me that I didn't that I know I was even suppressing. Yeah, you know it's, not, it's not supposed to be a social fucking drink. It's a cognac. You're supposed to sit at home. You're supposed to sit at home and, and sip it and not be in public. It. it was yeah. what? What was the? Do you remember the drink? Was it called an Incredible Hulk? And it was made for Tennessee hypnotic? and hypnotic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You remember <laughs> Keith Manning's joke about that? The girl's like, "I want an Incredible Hulk." He's like, "You sure you don't want an Aquaman, bitch?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's an Aquaman? Or a Peter a Parker? Wine, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Or did he say he was he's like, I'll get you a Bruce Banner or something? He goes, he goes, I'll get you a Bruce Banner or a Peter Parker. How about that? <laughs> I would love to hear stories about the shit people did on Hennessy and Hypnotic. Because it's, oh my goodness. I watched a lot of the, it. You watched a lot of it, yeah. That Somebody crazy. gave me one of those Incredible Hulks one night. Woo. What'd you do? Fuck a black woman? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd already done that. For but the, for the skinny woman is what he that did. Night, yeah, that's what for happened that night. <laughs> she was small and tiny, no ass. You know what I mean? No ass in Europe. Jesus uh, Lord. Wired up like an so, eight-day uh, clock. It nah, was bro. no ass in Europe. Well, yeah. where you in? No, 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 I'm saying no. Oh, you're saying there, no. There's, there's oh, okay, none. I was about to say There's absolutely in? none. I do, I'm not they never get to sit again. down. We had, all we had Poverty's was, very trying on an ass. Poverty. Man, we had that's all we kept bringing up. No, well, fucking like poverty. The, the African women got asses because they ru- they walking and running the everywhere. Poor, no, they sit down the too poorest, much in Europe. The poorest people got the biggest asses because they consume the most sodium. So you got a fucked up diet that's gonna make this gigantic ass. And you're walking. And you're walking. So it's <laughs> shaping nice and shit. Man, these motherfuckers in public transit got public rich transit people ass. Have, have no you ever, ass. You ever seen that? Like I, I they saw a gal the other night at this poker room <laughs> where I was doing a show, and her ass was, <laughs> it stuck out so far in the back and so far to the side. It like if you'd have put those measurements together, it was taller than her. <laughs> And the rest of her was like shaped like Slade. You know what I mean? Like there oh, was much else going on. You oh, know, that's just not. In the, that's you're a she boy. You're not work, uh, to, that's but. surgery. I don't think so. She she there wasn't a lot of better. Said maybe she had surgery money. No, uh, okay. Hang on, he can tell you. They but don't this have, to have was, surgery money. You just got to find a dude who's got surgery okay, money. Okay, but God damn, I mean, did they put a Volkswagen in her? Well, here, ass? Here's the but thing. There's, they, that's, you know, there's that story. Yeah. There's there's the story of the stri- that stripper who got like four different guys to give her five thousand dollars for a boob job and then she went and got a boob job and told all of them that they paid for it and she pocketed fifteen thousand dollars right i'm just saying what if she had spent all fifteen thousand dollars on one titty (laughs) and just (laughs) 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 i'm just saying poorly dispersed i I I still have her number in my phone I, (laughs) i think this was just natural but i was really amazed first of all that she had pants that fit around it like, I don't know how you buy that size. Slade's job. <laughs> to the moon. Yeah. To the moon. No, I'm sure the Kardashians make something. But honest to God, you could have set a tray of drinks on the motherfucker, you know, when it walked by. It was fucking like. like that's, what? Not the, that's not the ass you like. A tray. No, a tray. no. Yeah, you could have sat me. No, there ain't enough for me to get no, through I, that. There ain't enough. Set a tray of drinks. <laughs> a drunk me. You could have set a drunk yeah, me actually, on the ass. Yeah, that's a way better. <laughs> <laughs> I could have just set Trey up there and he couldn't have got down. <laughs> she have just towed it. Is that funny, the Jerry? Jerry's is not funny. <laughs> I ain't like an elf on the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> you had to move him around tomorrow. 
<laughs> no class with an ass. Craig yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last one today. <laughs> that was a weird show. That was a first. Like I've done a lot of shows where I've done mostly black rooms, but it was really weird to be the only white person, white guy in the a white person. Period. Anywhere uh-huh. here, there, and I didn't know anything about it beforehand. Like I walked into it, and I've done those poker rooms for Jesse, where you mm-hmm. got to go through like eight security guys to get in there. Yeah. But this was like a nice. But they had like hookah. The hookah line. things yeah, look hookah. like a big bong, hookah. yeah, hookahs. but they smell fruity and weird. Mm-hmm. They had that shit all over the place, and I walked in there and was like, "How'd it go?" All right, it went great. I had a fucking okay. killer time. This is <laughs> Very bougie <laughs> acting, motherfuckers. Yeah, you nah. a black I had dude a, a hookah and some Hennessy. <laughs> he ain't laughing at shit. <laughs> Uh, until I will tell you, the uh, third Hennessy. Until the third Hennessy. Yes. <laughs> when you, if, if you got to open that show, you're yeah. fucked. Yeah. <laughs> now, now uh, Mr. Green, the man that went before me, not have such a great time. Oh, our good friend? <laughs> oh, I love our good friend. It just <laughs> but I had a great time. It's clearly a... Uh, wait, I thought he, he tweeted something different. Uh, of well, course. <laughs> Yeah, everybody oh, everybody kills on Twitter, homie. He that seemed is. like he felt that way after his set, too. I get it. I just <laughs> <laughs> You were there? <laughs> just Jerry being like, hey, Bubba, I don't mean to be rude, but what fucking show you were at? I mean, I was, I was there with you. <laughs> well, I walked, they were like, blowing hookah I, smoke in your face. When <laughs> I was leaving, I walked by. He was sitting outside smoking a cigarette. I was like, hey, I want, you know. <laughs> I know how it goes sometimes, and he was like, oh, that's fucking great. And I was like, okay. I'd mispronounce one of these words, but killed, bombed, and sucked all have one yeah. syllable. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, man, that went great. I, I got through my whole set. That must have been what your plan was. Was I said everything I wrote down. <laughs> Every time I run into one of those dudes, I'm like, I'm like – you won't be around long. Yeah, what you the know fuck? What I mean? No, he will be. He will be. That's the. He's got the right tenacity and the right level of. Uh, he doesn't hear the silence in the right places in the years it <laughs> takes so to funny. get good. No. But that is very much. Uh, yeah. Yeah. One of those situations. Yeah. It was. It was a, I, w- I would tell you, it was just a like I almost went to jail on the way there, which was. Fucking well, crazy elaborate on that because. <laughs> you you casually mentioned on the break that you almost went to jail, and I just wrote it off because I know the cast, but then. It, I wanna, it was a trip, dude, because uh, the older and whiter I get, less trouble I have with cops. You know what no I mean? No shit. How the fuck do you get whiter? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I'm just saying I think it's happening. Yeah. W- yeah. W-I-D-E-R. Oh, wow. <laughs> you put a blue jay on your fucking wrist. And, uh, you know, like, <laughs> they used to fuck with me a lot when I was young. They don't fuck with me now, guys. You got a That's state bird you know. on your goddamn head. So, uh, example, I've been driving around with my tags out for two years. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I... I'm just I'm bebopping up 45. It's dark. I see him come on to 45 north, and I'm going about 15 over the limit. I'm smoking a J, <laughs> and my tags have been out about two years. Yes, and I'm like, so when I see, I'm, you know, my cop radar is always on, so I'm like, all right, well, I just need to keep an eye on this guy. But it was like he was hunting me. Like, I saw him cutting through traffic to get to my ass. Were you making a like, TikTok at the time? And I was like, no. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Been though, been That's the best answer to everything. I was making a TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Well, so I just, like, you know, Harris County's decriminalized now. So I just pocketed my J back in my cigarette pack and was like, sure, this motherfucker ain't about to. Woo. Okay. Wait, right, you didn't even throw me. it out of the car? No, man. I ain't about waste to waste no weed. Good weed. Fucker. I'm what? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly. exactly what he's thinking. I have this accent. How bad is this going to go? You hey, know what I mean? Hello, Bubba. <laughs> you asked him to cut the body cam off. <laughs> <laughs> this between me and you, fella. Hey, turn, that, turn that shit off. We don't need all that. You know? Well, we, I don't even smoke. We both weed. know I'm how this is going to go. <laughs> Hold my gun while I get out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he threw his vape out. He threw his vape out. <laughs> See, go ahead, he pulls me over right there on side 45 and. He comes up, and so I've got my window, like, cracked, but I always put my hands at 10 and 2. I ain't trying to be no motherfucking accident, you know? So I'm just, I'm there ready. And <laughs> I just, I ain't trying to get fucked up, you know? <laughs> Go ahead, Jay, I used to get in a lot of trouble with the law. I you see, if you, I just, see PTSD. you see, if yeah. you just do what they tell you, yeah, Trey, I got you, yeah. yeah I'm you would this, be the ultimate three statistic. Three Conroe police officers beat, the shit, on me on, beat yeah. the shit out of me on the side of 45. So I do have a little PTSD yeah. about it. So he comes up, I got my window down like that, and he pull, plays that game, you know, from like, you know when I pulled you over? Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I was, I, you know, I was going a little bit over speed limit there. And he goes, nope, like that, like, nope. And I was like, oh. Well, what is it? 
well, my tags are out. And he's like, I didn't even notice that. And I'm like, fuck, I'm stitching oh, on no. myself <laughs> at this point. <laughs> yeah. So, so then I'm like, I, don't want to, I ain't going to bring up this joint. <laughs> no, like, Casey saw that from the bridge. <laughs> you know? I go, I don't know why you're pulling me over. He goes, we just got a report. White dude with a beard and a beat up black. He said beat up. <laughs> beat up black GMC Yukon stealing Cadillac converters in a car lot over here off North Main. And I started laughing. Because I, I knew he hadn't seen me yet. And I was like, <laughs> and he goes, something funny, Mr. Longmire? Oh, <laughs> I go, yeah, man. <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm, I'm on the way to show. I'm a comedian. He said, what's so goddamn funny? I said, if you let me open my door, I'll show you. <laughs> and he goes, all right. And he kind of stepped back and put his hand his on hand his gun. gun. Yep. Yeah. And I reached out and opened the door, and I just kind of stepped out of the car and looked at him like this. And I saw it wash over his face. I was like, you caught the kid. <laughs> you got me. I'm the catalytic converter kid. I've been sliding under cars all over here. Oh <laughs> shit, that's so funny. Because <laughs> hey, I guess you ain't got no catalytic converters back at Yukon. I, I got no. I got a bicycle. He's like, well, I got questions about that now. <laughs> like, now you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Shit, well, he might let me go. I was on the side of the road like 45 minutes with this dude. He let me go. I've learned if you make them laugh, they let you go. I have a shirt that says, Dear Police, I am a white woman. Okay. <laughs> and I got pulled over. And when I got and I hadn't been pulled over forever. And when I get pulled over, I was like, oh, my God, please don't let him see the shirt. Please don't let him see the shirt. So license registration. Here you go, sir. Blah, blah. All he sees is the word police. And he was like, are you wearing a shirt uh, like impersonating a police officer? And I was like, actually, officer, it's just kind of a joke, whatever. And I showed him. He's, <laughs> all right, I'm going to run your license. If you ain't got no warrants, you can get the fuck out yeah. of here. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going another direction. <laughs> That's not going to stop me from shooting you. <laughs> <laughs> Better get a different shirt, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I do was serious when he told me that shit through the window. White guy with a beard. I was like, oh, fuck. Bro, oh, you, I mean. <laughs> It, it was just funny watching uh, uh, him take me in as I stood there like this. Oh, yeah. like, I like how that the question was, do you know why I pulled you over? Like, the answer was going to be, well, all those ca catalytic converters <laughs> in my trunk? Yes. <laughs> that's, that's so, first of all, when you are, all, whatever, when somebody's on the run or whatever the fuck and they get stopped, yeah, I don't, I don't, how the hell am I going to guess that? How am I going <laughs> to guess, oh, I fit a description for something. Ten that's, more that, guesses. That's never going to be anybody's no. fucking answer ever. That loaded question. Well, I that, think that he thought he is, had the guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but no. That and he was going to go, you know, I pulled you over. Hey, I've been fucking up. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. Is that question is always like, do you know why I pulled you over? Look, I only had a few drinks. Oh, cool. Now I got a DWI. You know, it, it, yeah. that, that question oh, is. Oh, that's why I showed up after tags. You when he so goes, confessional. I, I go, my tags are out. He goes, I didn't even notice that. I was like, <sighs> Yeah. So, did you get a tag ticket? No, he gave Nothing. me a verbal warning. Let me go. I'm white. You know, he sent me home. And the that is either. I'm fired. white and wasn't stealing catalytic yeah. converters. So and like, he fired his joint up and drove to the show. <laughs> Guess who's not going to jail tonight? <laughs> <laughs> drove right away jamming that shit remixing it up i would have thrown everything out the window i'm so phobic of them yeah. the like, booker des you know des yeah. white uh i i texted des i go hey i'm gonna be late i'm pulled over inside 40 he's like oh shit i was like no i think it's gonna be okay man yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't just don't even come to the show. How about that? Just <laughs> don't bring him here. Yeah. I get there, he's like, right. "Man, I was worried about you." I was like, "Oh, well, no. I mean, it's not that big a deal, you know." There was a podcast I wasn't even God. here for, mm -hmm. and you were on your way, and you said you were gonna be late because you got pulled over. And was I not blowing up? Yeah, your fucking I said the picture. Like, Where yeah, the fuck yeah, you at? Where good? are you at? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've had bad. That shit is like, alive, terrible, Trey. man. Um, I got pulled over means a lot different through what yeah. ears it's coming yeah. from. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you got, and then I, you got immediately face. <laughs> Time call you gotta be on the phone with somebody. Yeah, I think you I was. I think it? I was at sea, and I was like, "Give me proof of no, life, motherfucker." This dude, was, I've always got my phone clipped the dash. I usually just turn the camera this, on and start this recording. Did you just go live? You yeah. can. You could. Just, yeah, he should just go live on TikTok. It's That's gonna how be you funny. Can stop. You just go live because you gonna live. A hundred thousand. So you know you you be able to interact with those. <laughs> you be able to interact with those people. You That's got tipped during the whole thing. Yeah, that'd be yeah. Cool. 
That's the fucked up part. Is got a hundred dollar ticket, made four hundred dollars a tip. You get that bail <laughs> money by the time you're done. Yeah. The fucked up part about getting killed by the police on live is you don't even get to interact with those views. <laughs> like, like when it's over with, you and you like, know they go through the roof. Yeah, they, they, you can't even. You go viral. <laughs> you that's go. the worst part. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the worst. Part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Trey be, Trey be sitting nobody. on the steps in heaven. 6.8 million views. <laughs> Yo, look at these views. This is crazy. Damn. He could have let me make it. <laughs> <laughs> at least you get that helium special out. <laughs> yeah, right. Just look at it, guys. Send me back, bro. Send me back. Oh, Speaking of uh, the uh, people people tracking like uh, clips after people die, hello to any uh, Rogan fans who followed us after finding Hersey's clip. Uh, okay. Stanhope was on there, and they were talking about Hersey, and uh, we have like the only clip of Hersey oh, yeah. that isn't Mitch Hedberg saying something about saying him on that, yeah. Letterman. So a lot of people showed up to watch that clip. Uh, hello to y'all. Thank I think y'all, if man. you're not the crazy ones, uh, we don't want the crazy ones. Yeah, Slate. we do. Y'all got money. Slate loves the crazy ones. Uh, that's a different thing. <laughs> We've done a in the past. We've had. Uh, I mean, you brought over the weird uh, uh, white power people. That was not the, on me. That was on y'all. Whether it was uh, whether, no, no, <laughs> that was one hundred percent y'all. They were fans of you. No, they were not fans of me. Fans? Okay, followers. <laughs> Trey, Trey, Trey. Let me tell you something. You can't say it was us and not you because you came on white power cat guy came on and said you're one of the good ones. I've been here from the beginning. And mm-hmm. I haven't gotten that you're one of the good ones. So that was you. <laughs> I ain't even one of the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all those people on behalf of the podcast. No, you know I hate you can't doing... put it on the podcast, though, because um, I've been here from episode one, and that never happened. You know what I love? Flying. I love flight. So we're going to this plane. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to talk about that. What the fuck are y'all doing right now? Anyway... What the fucking play? <laughs> what are y'all doing? What the fuck are y'all doing right now? Like, oh. what are we doing? Oh. <laughs> what are it's we doing, so Trey? When the guns pointed that side of the table, it's, <laughs> it's fine. I've never pointed it your way. At least you're coming and what likes you. So, <laughs> what the fuck? What are we doing? Like, <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so right, flying. Yeah. Well, no, but 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 this is this is real talk to shift gears. I just flew home with you on I think the longest flight you've ever been on. Oh, this was long. Yeah, this was my first bad flight. Okay, so I, I, I never had a eighth uh, flight total. <laughs> yeah, fine. Eight, yeah. How long was it? No, it was ten hours. Ten, ten eleven, uh, ten plus. Like that. Yeah, um, sub eleven. Don't suck. It was bad for a lot of different reasons, but time dilates for me on these flights. Anything over six sucks balls. It's a mm-hmm. nah. Se- seven is very manageable. Uh, eight, I can sleep for six. Eight and more goes up. I don't sleep on any of them, but the there is something. It time dilates when when, when I'm in. The air, like I go mm-hmm. into a weird meditative kind of work processy, right, m- shitty head space mood. Like I can just do that, so I don't recognize how much time it takes on a flight, except for that seventeen-hour flight back from Dubai. Mm-hmm. And I, I was, I wanted to kill everybody on that plane <laughs> and myself in no particular order. Yeah, <laughs> I, that is the worst thing. I've, I will never do that again in my whole fucking life. Yeah, uh, you though. We were looking for melatonin for you in the airport so you could fall asleep on the plane. Yeah. We found some in Polish. I translated. I thought we got you the right thing. Oh, we got it. Yeah. Trey goes, I just took eight of these. Took eight of them. I think I, I think this will work. And I was like, better safe than sorry. Eight. You know what I mean? So he. I, so Ready to go. But Locked in. You didn't go to sleep? Loaded, baby. What's, tell Never me. went to fucking sleep. Rested? Well, I was well rested. I got a headache from trying to go to sleep. It was, it was like the I Reggie. That melatonin does me. It gives me a headache. It was the Reggie of sleep. Like, it was like <laughs> bad weed. It was like terrible. And I'm sitting there like, I was I was okay with having my eyes closed, but I was like, yo, this is fucking terrible. Like, this is all right. I got to try to get up. I put on the house of Gucci. My headphones didn't work. I couldn't get the headphones into the thing. So I just reading the house of Gucci, which was, <laughs> which that didn't it's, a, it's a bad movie, period. Like, I've heard it's like not a good movie. And reading, I'm like, yo, this is fucking, this is fucking tough. Like, so I didn't put you out. It's it, it was getting me to a state of like, all right, I'm gonna fucking. But every time mm. I would close my eyes to go, I couldn't go, I, I could not just go to sleep. I was like, kind of in and out of it and shit. That's I the missed worst. the meal, right? That probably would have helped mm. to like maybe eat something, and then I missed that shit. So now I'm just up. 
the guy comes around with the drinks. He's like, well, I say, man, let me get a Coke Zero. That might be cool. I get a Coke Zero. I figure out the situation with the headphones, right? Finally figure that out. Go to get like myself situated. Knock the fucking Coke Zero all over my paint, everything. I'm just fucking. Why'd you order something with caffeine? It was Coke Zero. I don't know what the zero is. Sugar. Is it sugar or caffeine? Sugar. Yeah, All right, sugar. Well, still got caffeine. <laughs> so you've had four melatonin. I've got eight it's like melatonin. Drinking black coffee, motherfucker. All right. Well, look. <laughs> Look here, I'm improvising, okay? I'm not shit, Sam. When you act, when you desperate, goddamn, you reach for everything. Should order you a, a whiskey or You ever fuck Martin. somebody with a plastic bag? You, you ever right, spill? It was because you just. You ever spill? You, you spill it on yourself? Yeah, it's all over me. What about the what about your seat? The people next. It's this empty seat, and then it's like a lady that's of Asian descent that's like somewhere okay. near me. So, all right, I get another Coke Zero. I spill that, right? That shit. Fuck. First of all, I ain't drank it. First of all, this let's just go back. I never drank these goddamn cokes. <laughs> I, I ordered them, Bro. but I never put them in he, my body. He's, he's had he's had zero coke <laughs> zero. I've had zero coke zero. <laughs> but his legs are awake. <laughs> yeah. That's that movie about how we caught bad line, right? Yeah. Zero coke zero. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> zero eyes, buddy. Uh, so I had none of that. I'm like, yo, this is fucking crazy, bro. So I'm like, all right. Time goes on. I think I end up watching the last Spider Man. Like the you know what I mean? It was when you say the last, like the one that the, just came out, or Spider Man Three, recent, where he the had most the, recent, okay. twenty twenty one. So I was, I was, I was, this is cool. I know I you're heard. a fan of the dance number. Love, love, yeah. No, three is my favorite. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Don't even go different there. story. Don't different even time. try it, Sam. Okay, you got some favorite shit that we don't need to discuss. Uh, <laughs> he said plenty. So we. <laughs> no, this is killing me. This, <laughs> this, this fucking this European poet. Right here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Carry on. Yeah. It's called the thinker. <laughs> the thinker, yeah. Uh, so then I was like, all right, they bring food out. After the thing, it's time to eat again. Wait, this is the second meal? Mm-hmm. Is this the sandwich? Mm-hmm. The one we can. So I see a sandwich. I'm like, dog, this is great. I saw a sandwich. I've had a too. bad flight. You know, it's, it's shit not going as well. Fucking sa- a sandwich will set things right. Let's dog. take a poll. Let's take a poll. Yeah, between, is, between the two of you, give me give me four ingredients in a sandwich. That uh, you'll bread. If you if there's, there's a sandwich coming, yeah. Okay, give me four ingredients. You say bread is one. Show mm-hmm. me bread. Ding. Ding. All right, yeah. bread. Some sort of Hang on. Let's go to the meat. Meat. Okay. Show me meat. Yeah. Right. Meat. Egg. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, how, how yo bread. How's Longmire is? Well, the meat? sandwich is fucked up now. If I ain't well, got no meat. Thank you. We're back over. We're back over to the Damaris family. What is this watercress? What the fuck is happening? Okay, hang on. We got a condiment. He said mayonnaise or mustard. Yeah. Let's look for mayonnaise or mustard. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's supposed to be on this well, sandwich. This ain't egg got. salad. Oh. oh, we heard egg salad. Let's, okay. Now let's let's, take, nah, let's, let's sit on egg what salad. Uh, hang on. Let's let's give let's yeah. let's let y'all jointly confer and see if we can come up with something. Yeah. I mean, I think we're already in dangerous territory. <laughs> yeah. Right, because, this is not a sandwich. If you ain't got no meat. Okay. <laughs> One, it we're was already a, at not a sandwich. It was a reluctant ding on the bread. Mm. Okay. Um, Bro, I want to get you some super glue Sale. for that scab. Sale. You keep trying to stick it back Sale. on. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it? Did it, did it have tomatoes? I love. Oh, 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 oh hang on. <laughs> Show me tomatoes. Ding. All right, we're okay. down to okay, kind so of bread. I hate tomatoes. We're down to tomatoes. kind of bread and tomatoes. <laughs> Listen to me. This, what came out. Cheese, cheese, optimi- cheese. Mercifully, yes. Ding. But boy, ding. ding. That, that's a, that's, yeah. So. Sam's face is killing me. What <laughs> came out, what I was optimistic about. Uh, so they bring you the box and they tell you it's going to be lunchish, breakfast, whatever that Hobbit meal is they give you before a plane lands. And you open up the box and inside is a granola bar that ended up being mercifully edible. Yeah. Thank Christ. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the sandwich was made of. So one, the bread was whatever that bread is that is more seeds than bread. Mm. It was so no gluten, no hap, no nothing. Ugh. Whatever the, the so like pumpernickel was, shit. Oh, but pumpernickel would be I, you but could like eat that. But like full grain. This was all the grains held go, together by grain. whatever they make a fruit cake with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It so two pieces of that. And then inside was a piece of cheese that yeah. was there to hold what I can only call uh gelatin and the sauce off of a Big Mac. And and uh, 
Uh, what else would you put in that? No, um, first off. Cake mix? I don't even know what the combination of this was. And then they threw like some, some it, what, lettuce. Vegetables. Yeah, Just it vegetables. wasn't lettuce. It was vegetable. No. Uh, in a lump with like a sad tomato in there against its will. Like they put a hood over the tomato's head and took it to the sandwich at midnight. And then they shoved all that together and they presented it like, enjoy. Yeah. By the way. I learned my lesson a long time ago. I was in Georgia one time. Somebody said, hey, do you want a sandwich? I said, yes. And they gave me a sandwich, and I was getting ready to take a bite. And they're like, do you like pe- do you like banana and mayo sandwiches? And I was like, <laughs> the fuck? The and I opened it up, and it was really, it was sliced up bananas and mayo. And I was like. Oh, boy, he can't do it. <laughs> I so, can still hear it out here. That's so now right. when I hear sandwich, I ask questions because oh, <laughs> people have different anyone views. Anyone who made that sandwich loves saying the N word. That <laughs> is loves it. Yeah, I can confirm. I, I, I actually can confirm. Yeah. <laughs> the worst yeah. sandwich I've ever eaten in my life, and we should. I, look, you had a banana minute. No, I'm talking about that one. Dog. First of all, that this sandwich. What happened, y'all? Was the stankiest sandwich I had ever had. Well, it, was it was all decomposing. Huh? Tell me what airline. Lufthansa. Whatever the fuck it was called. Lufthansa? <laughs> Le- 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 I don't Le- know what the fuck it was called. Hey, I don't I, know, but I'm calling Lufthansa Le- Lakufa Le- Le- from now on. Oh, wow. Are we flying Lakufa? These motherfucking airlines was running together on me, Sam. I couldn't pronounce none of that shit. Lithuaka. We was I'm flying Lithuaka. We was in one of these sad ass countries, Bulgaria, somewhere. It's so The airline's so sad, they had to remind people to have joy. <laughs> It'd be like, happy airline. Like, it would say it like, be happy, airlines. Like, it was shit like that. They spirit was like, what was it? Broken spirit. Smile airline. or some shit. Like, it was It was like encouragement. Wiz. Ooh, that, that, Wiz was yeah, one of them. you were on lean to the left hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. Yeah, that sandwich, was that was a stanky ass sandwich. It was, but it came with coffee and it made it, it, made it okay. Oh, you got it. coffee. I had another spilt Coke Zero. <laughs> yeah, um... We're 0 for 0 on Coke Zero. Yeah. <laughs> over two. Oh, uh, but I wish I'd have just taken Paul's advice. He told me, like, just drink a bottle of wine. He was like, just all drink a bottle of wine. So sp- yeah, when, when, like, you on, when you get on, so here's what happens when you get on board on an international flight. They come through and they bring, like, the beverage cart. Yeah. And then they come back through and they bring the beverage cart and then the food. So both times, red wine, red wine. And then when the food comes through, hey, can I get another red wine? So you are already three glasses of red wine in by the time you're eating whatever that food is supposed to be. And it, in yeah. this case, some pasta that didn't have any other stuff. With it. it was just, it was but, just noodles. Yeah. But that chocolate cake was decent. And then Bet when, it looked good in comparison to that sandwich. But, but it was yeah, before that, that, the sandwich, yeah. which is what they did to get your hopes up. It was yeah. weird. They, they were already conditioning God you to damn, be I miss that pasta. beat up. So, <laughs> we, so you eat that, and then as soon as you're done, and they finish all that, and they pick up the trash, then you go back and go, hey, can I get one more red wine? And they'll give you one. Yeah. And then you do that every hour That's until they shut do. you up. you got to bring chocolates, according to Chase, uh, yeah, to, to get really them to continue to give you the red wine. No. That's Chase's secret Here's to everything is candy. It, Here's the hack. <laughs> it was work. We saw it work, though. Here's the hack, Trey. Mm-hmm. When they come by the first time, mm-hmm. you got to look at your flight attendant. Uh, if it's an old lady mm-hmm. or a gay man, flirt. Okay. If she's a young, hot chick, don't flirt. Mm-hmm. And they will give you whatever you want. I understand. And if the old I lady or gay man that. just, hey, how's it going? Look at yeah. you. Yeah, here's man, the other secret. Is you can distract them and just take your own wine. There's no cameras <laughs> on those planes, bro. True, true, you all true, you true. they're not counting those yeah. things. Just. I get up, I go to the back to go pee. And when I do, I hang in the gallery because those would be sitting there reading shit or whatever. Hang they in will start talking it. and just chat and be like, hey, man, can I get a couple of those uh, whiskeys or yeah. whatever? They're like, yeah, because they can't do it when they're walking up and down the aisle because they're True. like, oh, we give that up. But when you're back there, yeah, just hand me like three of them. They, they're very – I have noticed – I've not done that, but I have noticed how much more friendly they are when they just kind of back there chilling. Well, it was your eighth flight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker, we were on one run. He got first class, and we didn't, and it wasn't complimentary. Yeah. So we kept running up, and we had to run it back, and he was just dumping us fucking whiskey. I told the flight, and I was like, look, my boys are all stuck back there in peasant class. Yeah. Let me, 
can I get like four whiskeys at a time? And I yeah. was just running them back yeah. on the boss. They were cool. And then when he came back, I was knocked out. He was like, yeah. now I only need two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got them all drunk enough to stop yeah. bothering me. Uh, <laughs> we got to get out of here. Uh, Whiskey Brothers 1026 in the can. Uh, Jerry Wayne Longmar, follow him on TikTok. Trey Tudson uh, just killed it if you are watching this as you should be when it comes out uh, in Philly. Yeah. Congratulations. So get ready for the album release. On your taping. Hell yeah. Uh, I really hope that Cap City shit works out because that makes me excited. Uh, And then Sam Damaris, uh, all good things happening in his world. You are in Europe, I think, uh, the next, at least the next week and whenever. uh, When are you back? Uh, June the 13th. All right. We'll have to do uh, recording math. And Adam Taylor, uh, we have lots to talk about regarding the Andy Huggins special. That's going to be happening later this summer. Uh, All exciting things in the Whiskey Brothers world. We'll see you guys on another episode soon. Guitars.